welcome to the Red Rooster Coffee House. So glad to see so many of you lovely people here tonight. And so now, uh, the big closing band, please welcome to the stage from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Put down the muffin. Oddly enough, Charlie and I were in a band together uh, called the Marchantinas. Marching Tinas. Um, so we were just playing out at the fine line and uh, we book, got booked on a new band night and we showed up and Bruce and Zach were there with their band, the Marchantinas. I mean, who would have thought? We both were in bands that had the same name. Uh, and so they showed up for our gig. They're the ones who are saying that it was actually their gig to begin with, but we were the ones who booked it. They saw their name in the city pages and just figured, well, we must be playing, so we'll just show up and, and play. Um, so we saw them, they started setting up their equipment, and we're like, hey, this is our gig. We're the ones who got the gig, right? And so we saw an ad in the city pages a couple months later after we got that mess figured out, and it said, uh, the Marchantinas are looking for a guitar player and a keyboard player. Well, our Marchantinas had broken up also, and we just thought, hey, maybe we can make some music. And we got together and it just gelled. I mean, uh, it was pretty amazing. But um, the Marchantinas were really us at the beginning. Um, we had the name first, and so because of that, Bruce and Zach really stuck together and Charlie and I have stuck together because we've been playing since we were little. I mean, we were playing since we were little kids, right? And so, so we'll keep playing, we'll see what happens. I mean, does a band really have to get along? Hey, can I uh, help you with any supper? I'm out here, take Charlie's. Ah, is this Charlie's? Yeah, hold on a second. Hey, can you take my speaker? Yeah, I'll grab it. Grab my speaker. Anything else of yours that you need me to get? Uh, well, I think so. Yeah, no problem. Interesting questions just been posed to me about how to bring the worlds together of the uh, the drum and bass section and the polyphonic instruments in the band. Um, because Bruce and Zach are back there playing chess right now. And we're not a part of that. And well, it was really hard for the year that Matt was gone in Slovakia because they always, you know, did their thing and you know, I still felt like the new guy, mm -hmm. the new guy. And uh, it was, you know, I could tell they were trying you know, but but there was still this deeper connection. <laughs> I mean, they're just laughing. It's, Who knows what we've actually done? That's actually I, don't, right. I don't know. It's it's okay. You know, Matt came back. Polyphony was restored to the whole unit, which is a wonderful thing. Zach and I believe in the music, you know, and and we believe in the positive energy that we bring. And Matt, Charlie, they just don't. They're darker. They don't believe in the love that the music brings, and it's just, it's hate being around it. But, I don't know, there, uh, you know, I think there's hope. This is Charlie? Charlie's right there. Yeah. I don't, I mean, Charlie is... Let's just say it was a little off. Yeah. And I don't know. You know, I mean, how many notes can you play in a measure? I mean, good night, man. He's just like, not, doesn't have fingers. He's just like smashing them like he's playing them with paws or something. The thing with Charlie is, you would think that like all the notes are just there in front of you. You know what I mean? Like it's such an easy instrument. You know, I had taken a, a much needed break away from things here, and I spent a year in the small country of Slovakia. Uh, doing other musical things and just kind of spreading my wings and experimenting a little bit 
And I've heard a couple of horror stories uh, from Charlie's end. I want to give Bruce and Zach the benefit of the doubt that they would have treated him like a decent human being and, um, and a musician. We only did, you know, two gigs when Matt was gone, but there were, um, but it was obvious that the fans missed Matt, missed the Matt component, and there wasn't enough of us to make it complete. And when we had the Matt mop, that was, that served to just kind of, you know, bring something of Matt there. And then of course when we did the live teleconference with Matt via satellite, um, there were many, many misty eyes in the, at Bordertown when we played the gig. And then it was just the three of us, and you know, that wasn't enough for people. So. So I <clears throat> couldn't help notice you guys took the only two oh, beds. You know, we're gonna have a meeting when we get home. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Charlie and I had to sleep on the floor. Well, and Bruce has a bad back. I'm, <laughs> I'm playing the drums. Have you ever done that? Very physical. Yep. I'm just saying, look at the size of that bed. You could put all four of us on that bed. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Their bass player and, and drummer are really average, kind of like really, really person. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Hey, so uh, what do you think of Bruce tonight? Pretty awesome, huh? There you go. We'll do that. We'll do that. Come here, again. Charlie, nice job. You too, man. Yeah, good job, guys. Awesome. Thank you. Zach. I think next rehearsal we need to have like one of those like a band tough meeting. conversations. Maybe you know? a band meeting. That's what I was thinking. Yep. I'm telling you, it's the picture. Whenever we take a picture, we start falling apart. Even if by Never band meeting it. you mean like just me and you to talk about. Well, for what's like, first do? for a couple hours, and then we'll bring them in. We'll tell them our conclusions, and if they don't like it, they can f it. You know what I mean? F. You say f. I'm sorry. I've said f all night. I'm sorry. Hey, look at Zach. Jump. Job, Zach. Job. <laughs> now we're on the road. I don't know where our bass player and drummer are, though. Let's see. Hey, uh, where to go? Have you seen the person, Zach? Yeah, they're in here. Have a look. Why are they sitting way in the back? You got the seat right there in the middle. Um, I guess, I guess Bruce's bass is a little more important. It's, they've got it seat belted in. He's a Would it kill him to sit next to us? <laughs> I'm out. Right here, right here. There we go. Okay. Where are you at? 